philosophy of designing the vision, along with our current product, CSR 2022, was to start with a product-centric design from a customer's viewpoint. And uh, it was the vision of the, uh, the Klapmeyer brothers, as well as mine and uh, many here, to start by designing the airplane around the pilot and around the uses the aircraft is gleaned to have. And instead of designing the wings and the tail and the engine first, we start by designing the, the cabin and all of the essential elements to getting in and looking out. And then we start to add the airplane, the flying part, to it. And, uh, and that's how the vision is really uh, uniquely done, is cabin first, power plant second, tail third, and of course the wing uh, is where it's supposed to be. What I really like about the Vision is that it has multiple experiences depending on where you sit in the airplane. And a really big goal for us was that the flight experience for the pilot was outstanding. And we used sort of the fighter jet analogy for it. So that means you wear the airplane, you're in touch with every single control that you need access to, you have perfect visibility to the instrumentation, but even more importantly, you have incredible visibility outside as well. So we have this big wraparound uh, windscreen to do that. And it was very important that when you fly it, you feel like you're driving the most incredible sports car you can imagine, and the rest of the airplane is not of, of real interest. Uh, one word that captures the, my design philosophy is uh, visualization. We really embrace the idea of how do you get the designs when they're in their infancy to be visualized. In order to create a physical likeness of, uh, of an idea, you actually have to build it. And we really encourage the designers themselves to build it in our concept shops. You get that sort of learning by building and learning by mistake almost as you, as you put these things together. Typically designs are in computers, in CAD, in an office space someplace, you don't really get that idea out where people can see it and walk by and, and, and notice what's going on. And a lot of the experience that Cirrus has is actually in the management structure of the company, from the CEO all the way down through middle level management. All those folks have built these airplanes by hand before. So to get that design out where people, it can be seen, where they can walk by it, they can happen to say, oh, I saw that concept once, it was really good, or I've seen that concept once and it's really bad. And we're trying to find these, uh, these aspects of the design out as early as possible so that we can basically stop work on ideas that really aren't, uh, aren't fully uh, thought through and really good and try to promote the ideas that are, are quite fantastic and pass that obvious test of does that smell right or not. And so visualizing it, building mock-ups, including building a flying aircraft like our V1 are all pieces of what make, I think, the Cirrus design philosophy very efficient and ultimately very good.